Hi everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how to set up a Chrome profile using your Chrome web browser. A Chrome profile is a great way to separate your different Google accounts so that you're not having any issues with loading multiple accounts at once in your browser. So what it does is it allows you to open an entirely new window with a new account. So rather than having to tab back and forth or log in or, in or out, you'll actually have more than one Chrome window visible um, and it will be separate from each account. It's a great way to separate sets of bookmarks, themes, and settings all on the same device. So let's go ahead and get started. You will see when you log into Google or you have a Google page like I do now, you'll see at the very top right, a small little icon. My icon is showing uh, the profile picture that I have selected. Yours may just be your first initial. Um, so in this case, I would have a large A here and a small A up here. Traditionally, we were using the larger icon down here and adding accounts. But what would happen is, once you try to go in and out, it just wasn't loading properly. So it's much easier and more efficient to use a Chrome profile. And how you would do that is go to the smaller icon at the top right, you can see here. Once you select that, you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. Here, I have all different accounts already added. Um, you will not have that yet. So you wanna press the plus and add. Here, you can select any one of these fun uh, little icons. You don't typically see them, so feel free to add them. And you are going to add the description of what this account is. So if this is um, a certain department account or professional or personal account, you might want to um, just indicate that. Um, so this will show as your description um, in that list. So I'm gonna press add. And here it's going to ask me to either uh, create a new account or sign in. In this case, I presume that you would already have an account, so you're gonna to wanna to sign in. So go ahead and sign in here. Press next. I'm gonna do the same thing here. You can choose to save it, it's up to you. And it wants to verify that it's you, so you wanna say continue. And in this case, I have two-factor, so I'm going to um, just confirm that I have an account. And here you can decide if you want to link data. So um, you can link any of the data from your other accounts. Um, so I typically don't because it's a different um, I don't want all of the data from this account associated with my personal account, um, any of the bookmarks and so forth. But if you wanted to have more than one account, like uh, two different business accounts that share the same bookmarks, you could choose linked data. Okay. At the top right, you can see I have this error. If you have that, that's just because it's letting you know either you have an update or some different extensions that you need to um, add or confirm. Okay, and now from here I can go ahead and I can log into my email. For the first time, I do have to go ahead and indicate um, which account. Verify one more time, and now I'm here. So, so from now on, once I've added that this account, you will see here. I will have all of my accounts that I add in that same fashion in my list under my small icon to the top right. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm back in my, my regular page here. I'm gonna go to my top and you can see here, I'm not sure you can see in parentheses it says second. This is the second one I just added. Okay, so I know I can differentiate it from the first one that I had added. So you can title this any way you want. Um, so once I select this from the small um, icon list, it'll 
automatically open a brand new window um, with a Chrome browser. So here's my initial one underneath. And then here's this one. So I can actually just minimize this, keep it at the bottom of my screen if I need to keep this account open with my Gmail there. Um, totally up to me. Or I can just exit out and then go back in very easily again under the small icon and select. So you're just going in and out of separate browsers. So there's no need for Google to have to reestablish a connection. And that way it will, you should have no issues with um, opening and closing any of your accounts. So when you're uh, asked to create a Chrome profile, this is how you're going to go how, go about doing it. You want to go to this very small icon at the top of your signed in Google account. So you likely want to start with your, your main work account and then from there add any of your additional accounts. Uh, so this is very great for anyone who has uh, any general accounts department accounts, personal accounts that you use, and so forth. Uh, so you will no longer go into the larger icon to the right. You'll see I have nothing indicated there. I just go in and out up here using my Chrome browser, uh, choosing which account I want to log in and out of throughout the day. If you have any other questions, please contact me over there at the technology department. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.